welcome home. Alright, so Fallout 76 just received its first big post-launch update. For console, it was 45 gigabytes again, and for PC, it's 15 gigabytes. It's a pretty big update, and it doesn't seem like there's a lot being fixed here. But we're gonna go through everything that was touched on in the patch notes, as well as a few things added to the beloved Atomic Shop. So, the patch version for Xbox is 1.0.1.8, for PS4 it's 1.0.1.9, and for PC it's 1.0.1.14. For general, we have several issues have been addressed to resolve hitches during gameplay and other performance issues. The Fallout 76 game client and servers have received additional stability improvements, as well as a fixed issue that could lead to instability on certain menus for the Xbox. For bug fixes, we've got art and graphics. Ambient occlusion. Place items no longer leave behind shadow outlines after being picked up. The game camera now pans more smoothly when the player enters furniture. The cover of Tesla Science Magazine's issue 9 no longer appears solid red on pickup or when inspected. For enemies, fix an issue in which some enemies could chase the player farther than intended, as well as ghoul and scorched officers now correctly drop new code pieces upon being killed by a player. For camp, workshops, and crafting, fix an issue that could cause blueprints to break into smaller parts after logging out and back into Fallout 76. Paint applied to power armor during the Fallout 76 beta will now appear correctly on the items that were painted, and those paints can now correctly be applied to additional sets of power armor. Fix an issue that could cause an item to return to a broken state after being repaired. And for quests, we've got Bureau of Tourism. The Prickett's Fort token dispenser can now be repaired, and players can no longer walk through it. For PvP, we've got players with pacifist mode enabled to engage in PvP by contesting a workshop owned by another player will now correctly deal full damage to that player as long as they remain hostile. Choosing the respawn option after dying during PvP combat will now correctly clear any active hostile status toward other players. Cap rewards will now display correctly when choosing the Seek Revenge respawn option after being killed by another player, and when targeted by another player who is seeking revenge, the reward amount will now display the correct number of caps that can be earned by killing that player. And lastly, for user interface, Korean fonts will now be displayed correctly in game menus, the Take Photo Hotkey can no longer be rebound and is now tied to the spacebar on PC and the A button on controllers. Fix an issue that could cause the take snapshot button in photo mode to display an incorrect hotkey. Fix an issue that could cause players to disappear from each other's social menus if two players each sent a friend invite to one player. And lastly, fix an issue that prevented newly equipped player icons from displaying to other players in the social menu. But wait, there's more. Thanksgiving time on Fallout 76. Guess what everyone? Something that we all wanted. New Atomic Shop items have been added, but keep in mind that programmers for games are typically not the same people that are creating meshes and textures for games. So this is not really taking away from resources for fixing Fallout 76, so just keep that in mind. I'm not trying to defend them for adding Atomic Shop items. I do find it quite ridiculous though that they're putting such heavy emphasis on the Atomic Shop when the game just released. So what was added to the Atomic Shop? Good gravy. It's Thanksgiving time. We've got Let's Cook. We've got Tom Turkey. We've got Pilgrim Girl. We've got Pilgrim Boy. Sugar Bombs paint for the Pip-Boy. American Patriots paint for the Power Armors. Croquet Mallet Skin. As well as a few other items such as the Race Car Bed, which... <laughs> Not gonna lie, actually looks kinda cool. And I mean, to be fair, I do have 1,150 Atom Creds that were 100% free. And there, there's a few others. Okay, there's, there's the, you know, quality content right here. <laughs> but that is everything added in the new update for Fallout 76. For console, it's a whopping 45 gigabytes. I know you, all you console lovers out there are just so excited about these updates for Fallout 76 because you don't get to play the game for a couple days if you have bad internet. And for PC, it's about 15 gigabytes. So is this update worth it? I mean, any update that makes the game better is worth it in my personal humble opinion but hopefully Bethesda gets on it with releasing those updates for the player stash for the FOV and so much more that they need to get their asses in gear and fix up because this game needs some polishing this game's base is pretty good but there's a lot of things wrong with it let me know your thoughts on this update for Fallout 76 but that's it for this video if you enjoyed please smack that like button
button down below, subscribe to join the good fights if you haven't already, and ring the bell icon to stay updated on all of my future videos. It would be super greatly appreciated as always, and until next time, this is Epoxy, signing off. Today.